to the first match between Nam Naka versus Zeski. Zeski, you will see around Artosis chat as well. This is it's almost like a who's who of guys in chat in this tournament, which would make which makes sense when you think about Dead Infested, but go figure. Zeski knows what he is doing, immediately moving this SCV out to go ahead and potentially scout or get capture. Overlord moving out for Naka. I'm gonna give Zeski the advantage in it, just seeing how rapidly and aggressively he moved out with that SCV. I'm wondering if he knows the early refinery strategy as well. So now proceeding to the bottom left hand corner of this base, Overlord slowly making its way that direction as well. He also lifted off this infested command center and put it towards the gap here. Wondering if he's going to lift this off and move it straight north. It looks like he is opting to do so. So he's going to have the large command infested command center advantage. Looks like a refinery is being built on 7. So he knows the build infested command center, on, or sorry, build gas on 7 strategy as well, which seems to be the current meta amongst all these guys. Spawning pool for Naka. I'm not sure that's going to help him out unless he can drop very, very quick, very rapid three Sutton colonies. Three seems to be the magic number to create any sort of anti-infested Terran blockade. But this Bloodbath is a small map as it is. This is even smaller. Maybe he's hoping to get some six Zerglings out, but Zerglings, what are they in the face of infested Terrans? They're nothing. They just explode. And on top of that, Zeski has enough infested command centers where it looks like he's going to be able to get his own front door blocked or at least create a, a formative gap. Now, here's the thing. If Naka can somehow get Zerglings out, can somehow do some dodging and weaving and whatever to avoid some of the infested Terrans as they're being produced by Zeski, maybe... And the thing is, he's going to have to hammer through these command centers to really get full control. Maybe if he can do that before there's sufficient Marines or anything else out on the map, he'll be able to take the win. But right now, Zeski already has one infested Terran produced, another one halfway built. Naka sees it. He is building an initial Sutton Colony, but a single Sutton Colony is not going to do it. Maybe these six Zerglings will be the difference. We'll see. But they got to stay ungrouped. They got to not... Ooh, this is bad. So currently, yeah, let's see if he can split them up. It looks like he is trying to do the split, send them in one at a time. That is a great strategy. So Naka may be on top of this. Yeah. Doing a good job blockading. Doing a good job trying to keep them spread. He's already got this infested Terran down to 12 health. Is able to take that one out, but another one able to get through the gra through the gap. This one looks like it forced some explosion right there. But ah, oh! one Zergling and infested. So at, at the very least, that did its job. A little bit of splash damage here and there, but nothing critical. Died. Some Zerglings, I think, exploded. In the meantime, I missed it probably, but good job splitting here from Naka. However, it looks like another infested drone able to infested Terran able to sneak through before the additional Sutton Colony was produced. So right now we're down to seven drones versus nine SCVs. However, two infested command centers are burning. Another Zergling has been picked off by another infested. That's good trades for Naka overall. Still no movement towards any sort of barracks. So it's just gonna be a pure infested Terran victory attempt by Zeski. Zeski peeling through that corner, now focusing on that hatchery, and that hatchery is one hit away. Oh! Actually, almost blowing up his own infested command center. This hatchery is one hit away from explosion. Two Zerglings and a drone. All in, all that's in the way. So there's going to be at least a creep colony to create a degree of a blockade. Another infested Terran out. Is it going to bother with this? Okay, not going to bother with those Zerglings. These Zerglings actually might be able to, one, open up the way, or two, at least slow Zeski's approach down. This infested Terran looks like it's going to go straight for that sunken colony. It's going to wipe it out. The Zerglings taking out a huge amount of splash damage, though, causing a bunch of burning. Four Zerglings now pushing through. Zeski trading the infested command centers, but that might be room for Zeski to get through. So Naka finding room. He's got four Zerglings now. And that's two infested command centers down, and he's not going to let the third one land with a single Zergling. Three Zerglings now running into Zeski's line. So Zeski having to defend his main against these Zerglings. Now landing, trying to build another infested. And so Naka with zero infested 
Terrans might end up winning this match because Zesky refusing to go to even tier zero units. Might have gotten it done, and this is honestly, if he follows up with an infested Terran as these are bunched up, that could easily be game. So Bloodbath, so Zerg's dominance on Bloodbath showing to be stronger than even infested Terrans. This infested Terran trying to sneak through, actually if he could maybe get the hatchery, no, it's gonna be a 301 health, and that's getting taken out. More Zerglings rapidly approaching, Zesky trying to defend with what's left. So a huge turn in events, Zesky looking strong initially, one Infested Terran hit away from winning, but instead getting wiped out. Now is he going to do the honorable thing in GG, or is he going to lift these command centers off and force Naka to go to air? Going to call GG there. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. We went on to the next matches that I have. Thanks for listening.